So I decided to purchase the Honda Flash Pro for my 2017 Honda CRV. Has the 1.5 liter turbo. And for those of you who are not familiar with Honda, they produce performance parts for I think exclusively Honda and Acura vehicles. And this Flash Pro, it's uh, just a simple plug and play really. It reprograms your engine and computer and it increases the turbo PSI by six pounds and torque and horsepower by roughly 10 to 15 percent. What I especially am looking for is some of that low RPM increase in power. For those of you who have a 1.5 liter turbo, there's quite a bit of lag. So you, you floor it and you wait a couple of seconds and then it kicks in fairly nicely, I would say, especially for you know a CRV for what it is but it's that initial punch uh, especially if you're kind of in traffic and need to get around someone or you're crossing an intersection I would like to have a little more um, or at least a quicker response in the throttle and so it does claim it will do that so what I'm showing you here is I did order the carb version of the flash pro so this is the version that's legal in all US states um, I live in Colorado who has a pretty uh, they have a pretty strict emissions program and so I didn't want to do anything that could jeopardize me not passing emissions um, and so I think with the race version which actually cost uh, probably about 20 percent more you can do a lot more fine-tuning and programming but I just wanted a little extra oomph uh, in my CRV and I thought this was a pretty quick and, and painless aside from the cost uh, way to do that so I'm un unboxing it here, and that's this is so this is the primary module. This is what you act actually plug into the um, OBD2 port, and I'll make a video with the complete installation process of doing that. And um, so yeah, and there are a couple of variabilities I I'm I'm going to test, but Honda they run their test based on high octane fuel, so I think 93 octane. Now in Colorado we only get up to 91 octane, but I don't think it would make that much of a difference. But 91 octane costs about 50 cents more per gallon than the 87 octane, which we can also get here. So what I'd like to do is run a couple of tests to see how much difference, uh, at least from the 0 to 60, but also fuel economy, am I going to get by using either the lower octane or the higher octane. So I'm going to have a series of videos uh, for this process. I'm also going to do a before and after 0 to 60 um, before I install this in my CRV and then after as well. So see it comes with a few stickers um, discusses the software and then this is actually a quick start guide so it kind of gets you through the process. And it's my understanding that you can um, uh, use their website well. They've got everything online so pretty straightforward process on how to install this so um, that's kind of the unboxing of the Honda Flash Pro. Uh, this is actually a sticker you can put on your ECU. So if you do emissions tests, they can see that it's CARB compliant. Uh, I can't remember what CARB stands for. I think it's California Regulatory Bureau, something like that. But just to say that it is legal from a emissions standpoint. But I'm, I'm really excited about installing this. I've looked at this ever since I bought the CRV almost two years ago and kind of holding off. Another, perhaps the thing that sort of pushed me over the edge was, and if you follow my YouTube uh, channel, I have some videos on the oil dilution problem that I've been having. So this is a pretty common problem with the 1.5 liter turbos, the Honda turbos, uh, where there's getting some fuel in the crankcase because the fuel is not burning off properly in the, um, in the chamber. So, uh, you know, watch those videos. I'll put a link to uh, those videos uh, in the uh, video description. But I had heard that that this Honda to Flash Row, because it increases uh, torque and horsepower and throttle response, it can actually help burn off some of that fuel and, and maybe reduce the oil dilution problem. And I'll also do a follow-up video to see if that's if that's true or not. Maybe that's wishful thinking on my part, but. I figured it would not hurt to uh, at least try that. And in case you're wondering, Honda does claim this is a Honda warranty compliant, but even if you're a little bit skeptical, you can 
remove the programming very easily. You just plug this back in and you remove it and you can add it back once you've taken it to the, the dealership or whatever the case is. So really don't have much of a concern with that. So I hope you enjoyed the kind of the unboxing video. Um, I will put together a series of videos where I'm going to show the installation process and again I'm going to do some before and after test both before installing and after installing but also I want to run some tests with using uh, low octane fuel and also high octane fuel and so I want to see you know one is there a significant difference in power or at least perceived power uh, I can do a 0 to 60 test but also is there uh, a difference in miles per gallon because if I'm actually getting a little bit better fuel economy with the uh, high octane then that might help offset some of the price difference and I have seen in some blogs online that it, this uh, using higher octane can actually give you slightly better uh, uh, miles per gallon with the Honda at a Flash Pro I don't think that's normally the case but with this re retuning that that uh, they can you can experience slightly better fuel economy so that would help offset some of the additional price Thanks again for watching and uh, please subscribe and you should get an indication whenever I upload the, uh, the next set of videos for, for this series.